All right, let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. Oh, this is just my snacks. <laughs> all right, I'm so excited because first of all, we haven't done a trip with the boys for way too long. And this is gonna be a little bit different because I have a special type of tent I bought. I'm not gonna ruin the surprise. You guys probably know by the title of the video, but just keep watching and you'll see. I am beyond excited to show you guys this tent. It is absolutely incredible. So stay tuned, keep watching. Classic shot, Joe. Super classic. It's like a tradition now. This is the very first, the very first video me and Mark ever shot together was like, this was the main shot. Like it was with my old Chevy. You're gonna watch these shots and you're gonna be like, dang, I've been aging through these. <laughs> if I look at my, well, I mean, Mark, I already think that. Look at the first video, it's scary, huh? Yeah. And it's funny because you can see how, how, how much gas prices have gone up. <laughs> Classic. What are you doing, Joe? I'm loosening them up. I'm trying to put them in reverse, Terry. Ugh. All right, that's where we're going, behind those blue mountains. We got Alec here finally. You ready? Yes, sir. What are you eating? Oh yeah. The legendary. Is it good? Amazing. What are you excited about? Get a trip in. Yeah. You ready to go swim in the Cola River? Get a break from work. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Spend some good time. I'm ready for the hot tent to be a sauna. Hey, don't. Shh, it's a surprise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, that's gross. I took a little dip. I was taking photos and it was going a little too fast. We'll play the video right now. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh no, it's- Why are you excited for a brown shot? Can I get stuck in the clutch? Can I get this on the clutch pump? Alright, so we came to this viewpoint. I'll leave the car right there. I'm gonna go check this out. Looks like Alex is already indulging in some mountain views. Oh man. Oh boy, this is nice. Oh dang. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my goodness, you guys. Joe's back there vlogging, I can hear him. Joe Alex, what do you say? This is insane, dude. Crazy? This is in our backyard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Alex, what, is, what kind of land is this? Who lives out here? Us. <laughs> no, Bunners. <laughs> Butter land. <laughs> my goodness, man. This is a gorgeous rock. <laughs> oh look, there's even a mounting point, guys. Look. Ooh, Alec, you want to repel? Alec, literally, look, that's solid. Wait, that's perfect. And like, look how good this rock climbing spot is. Wait, I think that I think this. This one, is probably rock climbing this spot. This is probably yeah? what it is. Yeah. Oh snap! Like this is very good rock for it. Yep. I started getting into some rock climbing, <laughs> and to be honest, it actually sucks because it hurts so much. <laughs> but you like once you get better at it, it's actually a lot of fun. Oh my. All right, so Joe's about to go up this hill. It's pretty steep, but here he goes. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo! 
Dang, son! That's one happy camper. Alekas! <laughs> Took a nap, dude. Ooh! Okay. Felt that one. One solid pop. Okay, so here's the new tent from lukesoutdoor.com. I will link it in the bio. It's a teepee, teepee style. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. There's the top. And we use a center pole, usually about a little bit bigger than your own height. Uh, that's going to be the top. Hey, you want to help me, one of you guys? Just kind of open it up, grab that edge right there. You basically want to pull away from this one so it's hot, and then you do the next one. So now I'm just tightening the distance between each of these pegs and it helps open the tent up. And then there's also these connection points that I'll tie to the trees and open it up even more so inside. You can fit up to six people in here if you had to. It's pretty nice. All right, now that it's set up, I'm just going to pound the stakes in. All right, so here's the chimney. It's rolled up right now. This is all made out of titanium, so. There it is. You can see it goes into its natural shape. So now all I do is just kind of roll it up into its, into its shape here. And then Joe's gonna slide those rings on. Just don't cut yourself, because this stuff's super sharp. So I'll hold it for you. Just slide them. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, you could do it just like so that you can unfold them. Just like that, yep. Alright, so boom. Just like that, we have a chimney. Alright, so here's what the actual stove goes into this pouch. This is everything you need right here. And there's these four sticks that hold the frame together. So, first thing you do, I put this little screw in this bag not to lose it. You grab this little screw. And we're gonna put together the chimney connector. Take out this. So put that through the hole right there. Put this right here. Screw it all together. All right, just like that. Now, chimney and that connector is ready. So next up, we have the four pieces of the stove. The four, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of the stove. So. Here's the base. You can see it kind of warps from the heat, but that's not a problem. That's totally normal. Um, so basically set it down and each of these edges, they kind of have a special shape to them as you can see. And so like this wall will go inside of this thing right here. As you can see, it's like a it's kind of like bent in order to support the edge. So what you do is you literally just put it together, slide it in there. Just like that. We'll take the side wall right here from this side. We'll put it in like that. And then we'll take the back, the back wall. This is so cool how it just like fits perfectly. Boom, it goes right in there. And then I will put the door on. Make sure it's closed. Slide that on the same way as the other one. Once it's all together, it's super strong. There you go. 
like that. Chimney side hole goes there. Just like that. And then I'm going to need Joe's help to kind of hold it together as I put these sticks through and support it. Flip it that way. Yep, perfect. Just hold it tight for me. I'm going to do one more check. Yep, all the edges look good. Then we're going to unscrew this right here. Go through the bottom. Come out on the other side. So, boom, that's one leg done right there. You could do this at home, but I'm just showing you guys how it actually works. Um, you could pack it in. It's small and light enough that you could literally pack into like a backpacking trip even. Um, this is mainly used for hunters when they go hunting. They use this whole setup and you can get a much bigger tent and that small stove that I have for here will heat that huge tent easily. So it gets up to like 100 degrees in there easily if you want to get it that hot. So all right and that is the stove complete right there. Take this chimney piece, slide it in. Just like that. So this is a spark arrestor. It'll go to the bottom. Slide it into the slit right there. Stops the sparks from coming out. When I start it up, I usually use another one just to be safe because um, you have to use hardwood when you're burning, but I'm using cedar to start it up and it sparks a lot, so I'll use two of them. Um, but when you're burning, it's good to use just the bigger holes on the standard one. I made this one, so. Um, it gets clogged pretty easily too, so it's better to use the standard one, but I take it out after it's going. This is called a dampener. It goes into here. Once the stove is going, you can control the output of the chimney, and if you close it, it burns slower. Um, and if it's on full, it'll just go crazy and it'll get super hot, so that's what that is. So we're going to put the stove in, and this material right here, it touches the hot pipe, but it's made for uh, like the stove specifically to come out of here. So it doesn't burn. So basically just put it in, feed it in the hole. I'm going to slide some of these rings up now so I can get this bottom part a little bit wider. Go a little further on the rings. Okay. And now we just kind of put it over this. There we go. Now that it stays on here, I will slide these rings down. Being careful not to cut myself because the edge of this pipe is so sharp. I'm gonna go ahead and space them out evenly. This one goes all the way down so that it can hold it down here. Right about there is good. And then this one here. And this one goes a little higher. And then Alex out there will space those out evenly too. Yep. Just like that. So this right here is like a vent for the air. Once the door's closed, you can either close it or open it or control how much air you're letting in, controlling the rate of the burn. It's a little window, open it up. So, there it is. So I have this extra rope with me, or string, whatever this is, and I'm gonna pull out the edges of uh, the walls, it's going to make a little more room in there. So I got walnut for the hardwood. That I'm going to be burning in the stove. You don't want anything too soft because it leaves a lot of residue in the chimney. So I'm going to make these pieces small enough that I can put them in the stove and I can light it up. Steak, carrots, asparagus, 
Bell peppers. Be good. How thick do you think we need these? Uh, cut them actually decently thick. Like this? Yeah, like that. That's perfect. Putting that lid on makes them so perfect. All right, getting this cast iron going. Um, I always like to keep my one hand dry, one hand wet. I like to handle the meats. We're doing using using some different seasoning this time. <laughs> I know some people are gonna say, hey, you know, salt and pepper is the way to go. But to be honest, we tried salt and pepper enough that we that we just like want to try some different stuff. So which one are you using? This right here is just Montreal steak. Um, just some basic seasoning, uh, but it's some good steak seasoning. And what kind of meat is this, Joe? This right here is tenderloin. Tenderloin meat. It's a very good chunk of meat. Um, it cooks very fast, though, because it is a very tender meat. You can tell it's good because the way it is? Just because the way it is, yeah. So we're going to go with probably like about four pieces and just maybe more, but I just don't want to have too much to focus on. But. All right, ready? All right, hey, you got your temperature gauge going? Yep, right here. All right, what, what's the rule? Rules 130, 135. No more than 135, yeah? Yeah, no more, no more than 135, yeah. 129, so. 130 is perfect. So, so we're going to take this guy. All we're right, gonna pop start her in there. Popping them in. And it's searing them right now. Can we let that go for a little bit? All right, guys, right now we're just constantly flipping the meat, letting it slow cook. And it is slow cooking very well. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? I'm going to do this. Dude, this is... That's so hot. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Watch out, Alex. Watch out, how, it gets pretty how, darn good. How hot? Davai, give me your honest opinion. Hurry up. Asparagus, pecans, carrots, steak. How is it? Wrap some steak. Amazing. Yeah? Top of the notch. Joe, what do you have to say? I'm not gonna say, boys. You have to experience it yourself. To oh! Be able to even understand. <laughs> I'm telling you. I agree. Is that we watch years later? Yep. Mark already has two kids. Alex got six. But... Whoa! <laughs> no. Oh, that's good. Have you guys tried some of that? Yeah, the raw one. Mm -hmm. Better shoot it. Ten grand. Holy stuff. Dude, these carrots are insane! Mm -hmm. Better than baby carrots because they have a bigger surface area. Yeah. Oh, They're literally insane, dude. If you take some with the big pecans right here like that? Yeah, dude, the pecans are good. Mm -hmm. Dude, pecans feel like a peacock, brother. They make it sweet. Mm -hmm. Those sauces, the spices, Mark? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Mark almost left me hanging. This is like in the juice. By the way, guys, if you're cooking steak, go with avocado oil because, av yeah, that one's done. Why? Avocado oil burns at 500 degrees. What is so, what's 500 the, degrees, it starts smoking. What's the regular one? Regular is like 200. Like 200 Rude. something. Done, yeah. done, Joe. They are done. That's what oh. I'm saying. Regular is like 200. So, it's like when it starts, like, look how much juice. It stays so a lot longer. Wait, the, the higher the temperature, the better? Yeah. Have we tried engine oil? Oh! <laughs> More oil. Motor oil? That stuff is good up to like That's a thousand. Cool. I know, right? Okay, there we go. Throw that one in. Yeah. Alright, so it's time to start up the stove. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my jet boiler right here as an aid. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of fire it up like that. And I'll use it to kind of start the wood on fire. But before I do that, I'm gonna put these dry pieces inside the stove as like a base in there. And that's really important because it helps create like a coal base once it's burning. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I brought me my stuff over the course of a couple of years.
working pretty darn well. So we got one person cutting it up into the right piece size. Stove's going, Joe's eating some uh, poppy seed cake. Yes, poppy seed roll and some tea. This is mango passion fruit. Good. So good. Perfect balance. Yeah. All right. So we got first culprit. What are you chewing on? Oh yeah, the bread of life. <laughs> Good job. Oh, uh, that means I have the salsa the tea. of chips. Sadness. The salsa of sadness. <laughs> yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Anything is good in the woods, honestly. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Let's turn off the light. Get that glow in there. All right, let's go to a taste test. Bread cooking on an open... No, it's actually a close fire. That tea is hotter than. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can't think right now. I'll burn my tongue. Yeah. Oh, good. Do you want some? I actually do. <laughs> That's yeah. bad. That's sad. I'm Gas sorry. Gas money I... is like no, so retarded nowadays. Thanks. I feel like 500 a month. We're not going to get political. No. <laughs> It's like, how much does your car do? Does it do pretty decent? Uh, the way I drive, uh, 25. <laughs> Dude, I get 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is depressing. I'm Dude, shutting it that, off. That's with me driving well, bro, if like you, an angel did. <laughs> if you put a roof tent on top, I'm <laughs> dropping a 10. It is so warm. All right, so Alex is sleeping soundly in his hammock. I got the hot tent, took out the stove. There's an opening right there in the chimney. That's gonna help vent out the moist air from our breath since it is very uh, cold out here and we're by a river. So the air sticks to the inside of the tent when you breathe at night. So we try to vent it out there. Um, I got the stove out here cooling off and so I have like a top quilt for a hammock that I'm going to crawl into on an air pad as you can see got a pillow on a blanket and Joe's on his whatever that thing is called off the ground and his sleeping bag on an air pad so he's sound asleep back there so I will catch you guys in the morning good night I can't even move, dude. <laughs> Damn, Mark, what do you have there? Is that the stove we're gonna be cooking eggs on? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, are you guys out too? No, no. No, I'm just gonna put it down here so we can have a fire. Ooh, we'll put some nice eggs in that thing. On top? Oh yeah, you whip out on ca ouch, cast iron, just put it on top, boom. That's what we did last time. Man, I love shooting rapid fellas, dude. My favorite's like headshots. Oh. 
Like, I, oh shoot, I actually have a video of me shooting a rat. I'm gonna use this spice right here. This stuff is the best for eggs. Just kind of generously sprinkle it all over it. Just like that. Boom. You guys had avocado? Mm-hmm. Okay. There's another one right here too. Okay. Go. Just a little dip at like. <laughs> Round two. Take off your shoes this time. <laughs> Device, swim backwards. With your head, go! Ah! <laughs> he ended up back there. Splash, splash! How is it? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah? Turn on stabilizers so I can film you. <laughs> Ready? Go for it. Oh boy! Ah, I don't want to do it! Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> That's so sick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. How is it? It's nice, like getting in the door. <laughs> what do you do for it? Um, so right now I'm a Mr. Electrical Assistant. Like, I, I assist the electricians. I just got into school, so hopefully I'll become an apprentice oh, this nice. September. Dude, electrical is good to get into. All right, you guys, thanks so much for coming along with us. We had a lot of fun on this adventure, and I hope soon to be doing a lot more. There goes Joe over a route. Hope to be doing a lot of these videos in the near future. Finally back out here with good weather, so more videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for coming.